Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a blog carousel section just like this over here in the free version of Elementor. You can make it to autoplay, you can select the number of columns you want to show over right here and also to add this other list section over here, actually listing your blog posts and you are able even to navigate to another page simply to see through what kind of blog posts are in the blog posts archive before you actually go there. You can even customize the number of pages that you are going to preview over right down below here. And hey, did I mention that we'll be using the free version of Elementor to create this blog archive or carousel section for your WordPress website? If that is something that you like, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe so we get started. So to get started to add that blog section or blog carousel, on our website it's going to be just below here what we have to do is first of all have blog posts listed or published on our website then we can echo those blog posts onto our hero section since now we have all our blog posts published and having the featured images now let's go and start adding our blog hero section just like this over here we are going to first of all add a section a hero section so i can do that by either first of all duplicating this and we just simply duplicate this section or just say blogs and over here we can just add a brief a description so in this case I'm going to delete this other column we don't need it so here in the text editor I'll enter my text that describes what happens in this section so we can even reduce further on the width of this widget by clicking on the widget come to advanced positioning Instead of the content width or the custom width being 454, we can just say it is the 400, something like that. Under this section, we are going to add our blog carousel. And to do that, we have to do one thing. We're going to add an add-on for Elementor called the premium add-ons for Elementor. It's the only add-on we are going to be using in this tutorial, just like I have already told you. Now, what we do is to come back here to our plugins area. So we're going to say plugins, and you're going to install the premium add-ons for Elementor by coming over here to add a new plugin then search for the premium add-ons for Elementor to show up over here it has currently over 400,000 active installs once you have it installed it will show up over down below here in the menu click over there and come over here to widgets and add-ons by checking it over here then you are good to go so now let's come back into our Elementor editor we are going to delete our carousel the image carousel and we are going to add our blog carousel which is called the premium blog add it over there and we are going now to get started customizing our blog carousel but first we are going to rename this section to blogs hero we are going to need two columns and uh, to have the two columns we are going to first of all add an inner section or by simply duplicating this in a section here duplicate this and in here we're going to add a new column so now there are two we are going to delete whatever is in there now we are going to drag this into this column and now we are going to drag again we can copy paste in this other column so now we have two of those so the first column will take a column width of 70% and the remaining will be for the other column. We will be using the classic skin. Then the layout is going to be masonry and we want to have three columns. And before we do any other thing, we are going to come down below here to carousel and we enable our carousel so that we have just our blog post in the carousel just like this over here. And for the settings here, we are going to say, we are going to enable autoplay. We will leave the auto play speed to 5,000. The slides to scroll are going to be one so that every scroll, it's only one slide scrolling. Then down below here, the navigation buttons. Uh, so we'll leave everything to be the arrows, just like this over here. And the arrow position, I'm going to make it negative 10. So they appear to be coming just out of the carousel. We're going now to make changes to our featured image. So come over here to the featured image option. It's going to be full size. The hover effect is going to be bright. 
and then the height is going to be 400 actually I'll leave it to be 300 pixels and then it's going to be cover and the shape divider is none we don't need any shape dividers okay this looks so far so good so under the display settings the row spacing is going to be one and the column spacing is going to be 50 so we're going to change this to 50 something like that alignment will be center so for the post options we are going to leave it at 22 words we'll use dots and we will deactivate we don't want to show categories and we don't want to show the comments meta now we head over to the style options under style and we come here to the title we are going to make our title typography obviously to use the default typography and then the color is that and on hover it's actually going to be the same color but kind of transparent look at the title when I hover it kind of becomes dull so for the meta options we are going to reduce the weight to 400 the size will be 12 content box the text color is going to be our gray text I don't know I think I'll just leave it in our text color and for the padding over here we're going to disable everything and we just make this to be 10 30 and 10 under 30 how is that looks good and when we come over here to the box radius we are going to simply use 30 and that's how we happen to have the rounded corners around each card and for the carousel arrows they're going to be in white so our of white here size is going to be 50 and for the background color we do need a background color for those arrows and so far looks so good now when you look at the before and now when you look at the after something looks a little bit familiar i think what i'm going to do is as well change the text color and just make it too much so content box text color we're going to choose our secondary color the meta text that we actually added for this blog post is overlapping the rule of 22 that we actually set up over here in our content post option the exact length to be 22 so what i'm going to do is come back here to the posts i either make it exactly 22 or less or i delete the words i'll come back here to the posts all posts i'll edit then i'm going to come here to the exact text instead of going into writing to make sure that the text length here is 22 so I'm going to simply just delete this so that WordPress will pick up whatever is coming over here in the first paragraph. So I'll update this. All right, so now let's work on our other section. And remember this section is basically going to be text without a featured image. And then we have a pagination or page numbers show up down below here so that someone doesn't really have to actually go to the blog archive page to be able to navigate through the different blog posts. So to do that, we are going to simply come back here to our editor. We are going to first of all select the skin to be modern. Offset is going to be 2. I'll deactivate the grid and post per page are going to be 3 posts. This is what you see exactly here. One post, the second one and the third post. When we jump straight to the featured image, we actually don't want to show a featured image for this section. Now there we go. Under here the display options. We are going to leave it at h2 row spacing is going to be one and obviously the alignment is staying on the left post excerpt is going to say 22 and we are only going to display the author name date meta and the categories meta we shall deactivate the comments meta under the advanced tabs we'll uncheck the link in new tab and for the pagination we're going to enable the pagination over here we are going to limit the number to be three and we'll align everything to be at the center now we'll head straight to the style options we're going to change the hover color to a gray but a little bit transparent the bottom spacing will be zero so back here on the metadata we are going to select on the typography option we'll make this to be 12 and the weight is going to be 400 we just wanted to match exactly what we did on this other widget here under the content box, we are going to actually change the text color here to our gray color. 
and the padding is going to be 10 all over so we just simply hit in 10. For the box color it's also going to be totally transparent boom there we are looks good and neat so far now let's go straight to the pagination and style up our pagination so on normal we are going to change this to our off-white and background is going to be orange and on hover it's going to be reverse and the same for active awesome so the padding over here will be 10 15 10 15 and we are going to actually add a border radius and our border radius is going to be simply 10 oh sorry actually those settings we had to do them on the normal for the border radius it's going to be 10 em so far so good and now on this column here we're going to just give it a padding just to have space for this navigation arrow under advanced and link and on the left we're going to give it a padding of 30 and that's how we have something like that i can i think further increase on the title so it can stand out just like you see over right here and also for these other blog posts so i'm going to come over here select that section come to style i'll just give it our secondary style and the same over here to our widget under the title we are going to come to typography and we give it our secondary style so yeah it looks a little bit way better and standing out okay so now let me see what else do we have to look into that's the responsive options so let me see how does this look like on the tablet so on the tablet we are going to make this column to take over 100 percent and as well this other one at the bottom we're going to make it to take over 100 percent of the width and for this text widget now i'm going to simply come back here to advanced come to positioning and i'm going to make the content width to be 100 percent i'll apply some padding to this column under advanced and link i'll give 30 on the right and 30 on the left so we have some spacing over there so i think all we need to do in this column is to increase a little bit on the on the background color so it kind of stands out and come here to style we're going to come over here to the background overlay and we're going to kind of increase on the transparency of the color something like this now let's look into the mobile option obviously we're going to decrease the size of the title so we can give it like an 80 we will add some padding on top of the lower column so advanced and link and we're going to add some padding over here i think 30 would work looks good and i can finally say we are done with setting up our blog hero section or blog carousel section using the free version of elementor so right now when someone clicks on either this blog post automatically they are taken to the single blog post page of that blog post here is still our hero section or our carousel section and someone is able to navigate through so congratulations on creating your first blog carousel section or hero section for your home page using the free version of Elementor. So in the case whereby you want to check out the final version of this tutorial, whereby we are creating a free travel blog website using the free version of Elementor, please subscribe to the channel, check the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the complete tutorial once I push it out on the channel in a couple of days from now. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to like it. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.